What's going on my fellow gaming nerds? I am Ben and you are watching Screen Dreams and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Today we are going to be planting. I don't know what we are going to be planting, but we're going to be planting something. We got to plant something. Currently wheat is on the menu, uh, or at least in the, the thing, Mobobber. I don't know what you call it. I don't know how to change that. Let's figure out how to change that. Also, I found out how to get rid of that, which is a very useful thing because it's just ugly. So before we do anything, let's just, bam, right there, select seed. What do we want to grow? I believe there is a, a thing in here that tells us what is doing hot tamales and what is not doing hot tamales. Um, we could do, was that soybeans? Those are looking pretty, pretty groovy. Uh, or canola. Um, I believe our equipment can handle soybeans and canola. I don't know. But it probably can't do sunflowers, which are just hot tamales. I don't know what the heck I'm saying with hot tamales. Um, so let's just see what we can all choose. We have wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans. Um, yeah, let's, let's do, hmm. Let's do, let's do oat. I wanna do oat. We're gonna do oat. That was very thrilling, Ben. <laughs> How do I start this thing? Um, just like that. We'll get the hang of this just in time for us to get to get a steering wheel because I did the fun thing of buying a steering wheel. It's not here yet. Amazon's doing its Amazonian thing and taking up lots of sweet time. But we need to we need to farm this up. So. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, yo. I don't know. That's beautiful right there. So, how do I make sure it's on? Do we want to lower the additional tank? Sure. We want to turn it on. X. And we have to lower it. How do we lower it? Is it... It's not lowered, right? Um, select tool, there we go. I'll get there eventually, guys. I know this is painful. I should probably do this beforehand. Oh, there it is. I was just being dumb. All right, so now we are cooking with, well, fire or whatever you want to call it. We are, we're not really cooking. We are, we are farming. Look at this, we're just planting some beautiful, I was gonna say soybeans, we're, we're planting some beautiful oat. Uh, yeah, oh, scary birds again. I don't know how much of this I want to do in first person because I'm gonna mess it up, but what the hey. Oh, that's the wrong button. What, what, what button do I hit to get in the inside again? This one? This one. This one! Oh, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. So, a lot of you are going to yell at me for not going up and down. That's not how I farm. I go in circles. You're just going to have to deal with it. I don't care what anybody says. It's my farm and I'm going to farm it the way I want to farm it. It's my money and I need it now. Sorry, that's a bad, 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 bad infomercial commercial thing. I don't even, it's probably just a commercial, huh? So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this. I know it's kind of long. It's more of a drawn out series so far. Uh, if I can call it a series after one episode. Uh, but that is what we're gonna do with this with this game. 
this game is just my sit down, play, and upload it to the internet kind of thing. Not a ton of edits like some of my other stuff. Because I just want more content and I don't want to have to worry about making it amazing every single time. This is just go with the flow. If you guys enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. I, I mean, whatever. <laughs> right? Uh, you're just going to have to listen to me talk for however long it takes to plant a field or harvest a field or whatever we're doing that day. Yeah. It's just going to be me rambling. Rambling on. Uh, so, I guess what I'm trying to say is you have to listen to me ramble. Another thing that we are going to be doing, not today, but, so I, I have an idea, I guess, where I want this to progress to. So, there's a couple, not a couple, there's a bunch of different properties we can buy eventually, but my goal is to get enough money to buy like the property to the left and the right of us and start a small farm with some animals probably. Maybe put, I don't know if I wanna do horses or what I wanna do. Sheep, maybe, I, I really don't know. I don't have a clue. But the goal is to purchase some land, put down an animal pen so that we have something to take care of other than just cash cropping because you know cash cropping is cool but there's more to this game than just that and get like the actual whole farming experience done eventually if we get animals that produce manure which most do uh, <laughs> we can like you know use that and put it on the fields and blah 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 but a lot of the stuff I want to do in first person because whenever I play this game I just bam put a worker on the field and try to make as much money as possible and just kind of rush everything I don't even like I'm probably overlapping a hella a hella lot whatever um, but I don't want to rush it I want to just take it kind of slow and just go with the, the flow of life really um, eventually we are going to hopefully I don't know maybe turn it into a seasons mod type game or maybe next season of these episodes I don't know how many episodes I want to put in per season I'm thinking once we buy like two properties and we have, I don't, I, I'm not even going to guess, just some more money. And eventually we're going to get to the point where we need a new map and we'll just like take what we have money wise from this map and add it into that map and then start off at that point. So it's kind of like just transferring our funds over we move to a new place I don't know or maybe we grew old and died and our kid inherited all of our money and our kid just wanted to live somewhere else right that happens man that's so cool you can see like the mountain top over there and just through the top of the tractor Doing good, doing good. You know, nice 15 miles per hour. That's a lie, what? Okay, that readout has to be different than our readout because our readout is nine miles per hour, so that's gotta be like kilometers per hour. I would think. Almost has to be. How's our field looking? Oh, that looks beautiful in the rear view, in the rear view, in the side view, side view mirror. So I guess technically we have like a headland and we could go up and down the field, but I, I just, I hate doing that. I like going in circles. It's the same way I mow lawn. I go in circles. I make like a track. I think it's tighter and tighter and tighter. And I, don't, I don't know. It's a weird thing to do, but it's what I do. 
Maybe it's not so weird. I don't know. What do, what do farmers actually do? I've never asked any of them. <laughs> Try not to. Um, so yeah, like I was saying before, I just purchased a, a steering wheel and stuff. I also purchased a brand new chair because the chair I'm currently using, I got. I actually stole it from my mother a couple years a, a couple years ago, uh, before I left my childhood house. She had a fancy computer chair for a computer she never used. And then I was like, yo, I'm sitting on this cardboard box. Can I get use of your nice chair? She's like, yeah, you can have it. So I just took it. And then when I moved to my current location, I just took the chair with me because what the heck, why not? But this chair is still lower dollar, probably a Walmart special if I had to guess. Uh, it's it, it works it gets the job done if I sit in it correctly like a human should sit in a chair with you know their back up straight and a lot of good posture but I I don't tend to do that when I sit in a chair I'm like fidgety and all over the place so I went out and I purchased a fancy gaming chair which I didn't really need to do but I wanted to do I've wanted a nice chair for a long time and I finally bit the bullet and bought one and yes I used the stimulus money to buy it shame on me I know right Ben you're supposed to use that for for whatever you need but here's the thing my job is still currently going. I am technically what you would call an essential employee. Uh, even though all I do is work with tires, I work with a lot of egg tires, tires that would go on these tractors. And farmers don't stop farming, guys. Just because of a little disease. We need food, and farmers got to provide that food. So they don't stop, we don't stop. And actually, this time of year is getting to be part of our busy season, so we are going, we're getting hammered right now. We have a shop full of tires every single day and not enough employees to f work on all of them. But that's life. We're, we just take it one day at a time. Uh, putting in 10 hours a day at work. So yes, I am playing this game after work where I put in 10 hours of work today. I got up at 5.50 a.m., got to work at 7 a.m., clocked out at 5 p.m. It is currently 8 p.m., and I'm sitting here farming in a field on a video game. And after I get done farming in this field, I'm probably gonna make some music like I talked about in the last episode. Um, I say um way too much. I've been noticing that. I think that me recording these videos is going to be good for a lot of reasons. One, I'm going to start picking up on my own flaws, especially with the way I speak. You can only listen to yourself in <laughs> so many times before you're like annoyed with how you sound. And yeah. I've, I've been noticing that I get annoyed with the way I sound very easily. I'm like, it's not that I hate my voice. I've recorded way too many videos to not know what my voice sounds like now. I'm just like, oh, that's normal. That's cool. It's more, all right, you need to stop with the ums and the weird silences and the way I say and and just drag it out like and. So, and also the word so. I say so a lot, which is cool. I love learning more about myself like this. I, you don't get to just hear these things and not think about them. You don't normally talk to yourself, right? No one ever just talks to themselves. Well, some people do, but they don't carry conversations on with themselves. Like you right now, if you're listening to this, you should realize that I have just talked for 14 plus minutes 
to myself about random things. And that is, I mean, I'm pretending I'm talking to someone, which I hope I'm eventually talking to someone. But either way, if there's no one there, I'm just chatting to myself, and that's okay by me. I'll explain the game to myself, really. So that's all that's new in my life. Uh, I recorded the first episode of this game yesterday, which would have been Sunday. Today is Monday. Not that that matters, because this isn't going to come out... I don't know when this is coming out. It could come out next week, really. I have not set up a schedule for this. I do have... Actually, at the current moment, 8 p.m. on Monday, I do have the very first episode of this game going up. So right now this isn't even on the channel the old season is oh I should talk about that alright so technically this is not season one this is season two but I only did what one or two episodes on the other one and then I stopped for a year and a half because honestly I don't know why I stopped I think it was just I didn't know how to do it, and I didn't, I didn't really think I was gonna be good at it. And the video editing software I had at the time was horrendous. I was it's, okay. It wasn't horrendous. It was free, and for being free, it was fantastic. I loved how well it worked and all of the features it had for being free. However, now I decided to go all in and purchase Adobe everything, basically. It's the Adobe Creative Cloud, and that comes with Premiere, and I love Premiere. Holy cow, do I love Premiere. It is so easy to work with, and I absolutely adore it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Premiere is just fantastic to work with. Compared to what I was using anyways. It... You can drag and drop things in, which you couldn't do with the other one. You had to, like, open everything manually. You can... It, it like, renders the stuff faster. I don't... I don't know. The playback is smoother, it just works better on the CPU, everything is enhanced. It's it's just butter compared to like soggy milk. Soggy milk will do in a pinch, but it's just something you don't want to deal with. Whereas butter, I mean, I don't know where where I'm going with this. <laughs> butter butter is fantastic on popcorn, let's just put it that way. You don't want soggy milk on popcorn. But so Premiere has just made this a thousand times faster to work with, editing and everything else, basically. I know this isn't going to be much for edits, but I still have to put it in there and chop the beginning off, the dead air, chop the end off. If I'm going to sit here and do stuff like this in the cab for hours on end, I want to be able to speed some of it up, probably. Because you guys aren't going to want to sit here and just listen to me talk. But maybe you are. I don't know. We'll get we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. If I feel like editing the video different at that point in time, or if I don't feel like talking and I just have a big old field to mess with, then I'm probably going to stop talking and just mess with the field. And So then I would have to do like a time lapse thing or something. How do I get out of this? Oh yes, camera view. Cause we need to, we need to change it up a bit. We need to watch what we're doing. Okay, so I was overlapping quite a bit. I just, you know, it's so much easier in this view. But I did a good job, honestly. Better than I normally would have done. In in the cab. Oh, I can't wait for the steering wheel. I mean, this controller that I'm using is actually pretty nice it it's getting the job done it's a lot easier than just using I don't want to say it's easier than using the keyboard and mouse because the keyboard and mouse are nice 
But the controller is just more, I don't know, ergonomic? Is that what you want to call it? You could call it that, sure. It just fits in your hand and you just flow. But the steering wheel, oh, I can't, oh, I can't wait. I, I don't, I don't even know. That's going to take a little getting used to. But the fact that we can hop in to something and then just start driving it like it's real, that's, that's cool. The only thing I don't know is about how you look left and right in that thing. But it's, it's going to be a nice... I didn't go top of the line steering wheel because I'm not playing fancy racing games or anything like that. We're just farming. But I got one that should do the trick. I, I believe it has buttons. If you listen to the first video, you will know that the steering wheel I have broke. And that's why I got a new one. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to have more buttons. Either way, it's going to take a little getting used to. Like right now, my finger's kind of getting sore from holding the throttle on, and I know what you're thinking. Ben, you could just use cruise control. You're right, I could, but I don't know how to do that with the controller. I don't want to do it because it's just, I don't know. It seems a little cheaty. We're starting out. We shouldn't have cruise control, even though this tractor probably does. I mean, it's in real life, it's probably got GPS and all the, the bells and whistles. But oh well. So, I think at some point, the next plot of land is either going to be that one or that one. That was a very difficult way of explaining that. <laughs> so the one to our left or the one to our right. I know I talked about this before, a little scatterbrained here. But we might look at which one is the most flat land available and then we will also purchase a plow so we can connect the fields together and have one giant field that's I, I just like having one giant field I would rather have one giant field than like seven little fields I don't know why and we're also gonna do this without the help of a helper as much as possible at least for the beginning because we're gonna tr we're gonna try and save some money we're gonna be like little dicky and save that money but eventually we're gonna get to the point where we're like harvesting and we're gonna have a, a helper run the combine so we can just run the wagon because otherwise it's gonna take forever to do and I don't want to take forever but maybe this first round we will run it ourselves and then we'll just unload it ourselves and blah blah blah. That's how it goes. So dang, we're making we're making some progress. We're like 50% on the oat seeds, which is good. We will definitely have enough to finish this field. Uh, then we can go and fill it back up, get the seeds out of the parking lot because realistically we wouldn't have the seeds in the parking lot. We would have brought them back to our farm, but we don't have a decent way of transporting them and I'm not gonna try and push them. That would be ridiculous. Dang, buddy, you're struggling, but you're getting there. You're getting there. One more down slope, one more up slope. And then we should be just about done. May have to go over a little bit here and there, but we have almost completed this whole field already. That's pretty, pretty stellar. I'm hearing noises, and I can't tell if it's in the game or in real life. Sounded like a train. I don't know. If you guys hear it, let me know. Oh yeah, buddy. Um, I don't know what that is. It could be in real life. 
Either way, whatever. I, I made that turn absolutely ridiculous. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the nice, calm, peaceful nature of me farming and just yelling at you the whole time. Even though I'm not yelling, I'm just talking. I like you enough to not yell. But, that's all this is going to be. They're nice and calm. Hopefully nothing goes crazy. This is my game for peace and quiet. And some of my other games are going to be reckless and crazy. I don't know if we're going to be adding another game to the channel quite yet. I want to get these two down and started. And by these two I mean From the Depths and Farming Simulator. And the only reason I'm using multiple games instead of focusing on one game is because I have the attention span of a squirrel. And I get bored very, very easily. Um, lifting it. Um, no, no, how do I? There we go. Nope. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah. Beautiful. This thing is getting filthy. All right, let's get the heck off the field. Cruising. Also, we're going to use the driveway for some reason. I don't know. Um, get off the screen. I didn't check this way. We're probably fine. We're a big, beefy tractor. Nothing's going to stop us. Except probably a tree. Trees would definitely stop us. So... Let's go get the rest of our seeds. I believe it's still here. It is. We want to turn. I should really learn how to use the turn signals in this bad boy. And maybe in another another video we'll learn. We gotta learn eventually. So one thing that's bad about... Oh jeez. Taking this off is I don't know what to hit. Um, refill. Oh. Perfect, we got her full. Well, not full, but we took all the seeds. That was the words I was searching for in my brain. Looking good, let's cruise. You know, there's a lot of tractors in real life that just like kind of roll through stop signs and no one gives a shit because they're tractors and they're, they're not gonna stop anyways. So this is technically not our driveway, but we're gonna use it. Okay, so that's that's planted. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We're going to turn this baby off, which I believe is that. Now we're going to get out, which is that. So let's just explore real quick because we have a little bit of time. This field's not gigantic, but I believe this costs more. And that field over there is... Well, actually, let's do this the smart way. Uh, it's gonna save because it's what it does. It needs to save. Um, this mode. So... Oh, dang. That field is huge, I didn't realize that. Is that all one property? Um, Yeah, it is. Oh, so that one's probably out of the question for the beginning. I believe this one comes to all that stuff, which not great either. Hmm. What's this one? That's what that noise was. I don't know if you guys heard that. That's thunder. It's raining. <laughs> I thought it was like wind, but it, I w it must have been wind. So our goal will probably be to get this one because I mean, there's a lot of land on this one though. It's probably all hill. But this one, at least we can combine the two fields and make a giant field and there's some flat land. Some of the, some of the flat land right here. Yeah, this flat land where we could put in a whole bunch of stuff that we need. Actually, there's a lot of flat land on this. 
we could get pretty close to the shop too and then the shop technically would be on our land so we could um, take shortcuts to the shop even though that's probably not gonna that little lip there is gonna mess us up for some dumb reason I know it will or I guess that's one option and this is in the future maybe when we get enough money to actually think about starting building buildings building buildings man the English language is just fantastic building buildings Ben <laughs> or and just hear me out here. We buy this huge hunk of chunk of land. I'm gonna run right through the field because I don't care, it's not mine yet. And we get all of this ridiculous hillside. Okay, this is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. This field is obnoxious though. Obnoxious. It's a slant and slant and go pattern uh, football yeah let's let's just throw football into the mix <laughs> or I don't like it goes pretty far but this is just all hilly and ugly and uh, I mean we could actually we could probably flatten some of this stuff out and make a really cool farm on the hill with a cool driveway that goes through a giant field I'm just, you know, let's just, I'm just throwing things out there right now. These are just ideas. We cannot afford any of this yet. So eventually we'll get there. But for the current moment in time, we are just going to live with our field. And that's, that's all we can do until we get some more dough. So on that paper. And even, even our stuff, like we could technically, how far does our land go? Let's just walk up here and see, because this hill is pretty, pretty high. Oh, this is ugly. But we could technically flatten it and put something up here, if the game let us. Uh, let's see. We're right on the edge too. So maybe, maybe we could do it, I don't know. But that's gonna do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Bye.